Anyone who talks badly about a person should not be surprised if he is also talked about in a bad way. So many people claim to love humanity, but why do they despise the poor, the weak, the flawed, the ignorant, the uneducated, and those who must suffer from harm and misfortune? A person's true love is worth more to a sage than all the material treasures of the world. Truly free of jealousy are only people who do not suffer from fear of loss and who have a neutral expectation of the future as well as a strong sense of self-esteem coupled with great modesty and an appropriate selflessness. But this is only possible for a person who already has a greater degree of wisdom. Man is raised in the belief that nothing remains for him if he lets go of faith. But life itself has proven repeatedly the opposite. When man lets go of his belief and frees himself from it, then he finds true freedom, true love, wisdom, and harmony. He only needs to turn to the true creative natural. If there is no commonality among people, then they try to bind themselves to those material things that cannot escape them. They seek to find a connection in everything that suits them materially, through which a lack of commonality with their fellow human beings is to be replaced. As a result, loneliness, as well as self-indulgence and disregard for human beings arise. Because material things are attributed much more value and importance than people in general and in particular. If man is not arrogant but forgiving, then he can even forgive the many things that his fellow human beings direct against him. Only a fool recklessly risks his life, his security, and his happiness, as well as his belongings, his peace, his freedom, and harmony. It is the duty of every human being to always be a good and valuable example to his neighbor, to respect and treat them in honor and dignity, and to always be at their side with a helping hand. If one feels sorry for a person's misery, then one puts a heavy burden on one's own shoulders. However, if one finds feelings for a person's misery, then one will not renounce humanity. If one remains open, mindful, and alert, and walks a good path to expand one's consciousness and to become more collected over time, then one's own negativity and doubts gradually evaporate, as a result of which one begins to feel comfortable with oneself while being enveloped by deep serenity and relaxation. Truth is a value whose roots go deeper than human thought and understanding can ever grasp. If one evaluates friendships according to the love and familiarity that belongs to it, as well as according to the trust and all the other good and positive values inherent in it, then there is probably nothing that could create a greater bond. This refers to both a simple and a deep platonic friendship, as well as the friendship in marriage. However, if only benefit, complacency, power and profit, etc., are seen in a friendship, then the closest and longest lasting friendship is worth nothing more than a careless, unworthy, pathetic and unworthy phrase. Life is a search for the love, peace and harmony of creation. When a person seeks counsel, he needs advice that is sincere, wise and human and that shows true understanding, feelings for others, and participation. Just wanting to be right in order to be right is not only intolerant, but nothing is gained from it. 
If someone does or speaks things that are not of the law, or that do not correspond to the circumstances, then they should probably be instructed, but without stubbornly insisting on being right, simply because being right wants to be maintained. Being instructive goes beyond wanting to be right. And even if someone is unable to grasp the truth of the teaching, the right is still satisfied. All people make mistakes with each other, but one of the biggest is probably not understanding one's fellow human beings. What would a man's life be without real love? Truly, it would be boring, dull, empty, and connectionless. How poignant is it to be able to observe sympathetically and without envy how connections of real love are built between people from perhaps only fleeting glances and encounters, which are far stronger than all the injustices of life and which extend far beyond death. But there are far more engaging things than just observing this, and that is when real love is experienced and witnessed in one's own person. As man sees, knows, and loves himself, so he unfolds and realizes himself. Life teaches that one should have reverence for it, and be generous, honest, hard-working, and humble. It also teaches that shyness toward evil thoughts, feelings, words, and deeds must be preserved, and that simplicity in the way of life is a virtue that creates true friends and human connections. A good person is corrupted by faith. A bad person is improved by the truth. If waves constantly hit the rocks, they are shaped and sharpened, changed and finally made. Equally, this happens with consciousness and character when it is constantly worked on consciously in a good and positive way. Good and positive thoughts and feelings let everything unclear and unworthy erode and flow into the past, whereby a gentle yet unshakable image of consciousness and character can be developed. As a result, self-confidence grows and finally becomes so strong that kindness and feelings for others are naturally built up and radiate from them in such a way that joy and love are brought not only to one's person, but also to one's fellow human beings. It is man's good fortune to have good and wise friends who always help him in any situation and do not demand any remuneration for it. If man wants to liberate himself, then he can only do so through true love. Even the greatest enemy is a human being and as such, he too deserves all appropriate help when he needs it and is in need. A fool can't get distinguished from other people as long as he remains silent. The wise person does not value material goods. The materially rich do not value wisdom. As the saying goes, jealousy is a passion that eagerly seeks that which creates suffering. As an attentive and consciously living person, you can meet a fellow human being a hundred times, and each time you will notice something new about him that you have not noticed before. Those who close their eyes will never see the truth, and those who see the truth and remain silent will perish painfully and silently.